Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It is the Junkie, and it's April 8th, 2024, the day of the apocalypse. I've uploaded a video and a short on my cruise around Tampa to go get some Starbucks, possibly on my last, our last day on Earth. Just kidding, guys. Just, uh, I don't know, a lot of creepy things going on. A lot of things are, uh, kind of happening on today, so, <clears throat> who knows, but anyways, I got a combo call here for you. I'm off today. Um, it's Monday, April 8th, 2024. I think this is haul number 36. Let me jump right into it. It's another long box of comics that'll take me about three videos to show. Up first, let's go ahead and jump into with the uh, independent books that I, I picked up. These are all from last year. So, anyways, we have Classic Illustrated, The Secret Agent. Thought that was pretty cool, so I picked that up. And then we have Subtle Violence, number one. Canto and the City of Giants, issue number two. Spawn, number 13. I, I rarely find... And these are all from the flea market, too, guys. I rarely find Spawn, spawn in the dollar bin boxes at the flea market. So when I do find it, even if I have it, I pick it up. And then we have Fubar Winter Special. I think this is my second copy of this. Just an awesome, looks like a wartime uh, zombie comic. It's a one-shot, so pick that up. Uh, I just completed this run here. Two Moons, number 10. And then we have Coven of Angels, volume 11. And she's going to make him eat that sword. That's just a crazy cover. And then we have... Um, and these are in no particular order, guys. From Atlas Comics, Wolf the Barbarian, number 1. And issue number three. So pretty excited to find those. Uh, love Anne Rice. And I love her her books. I have most of her books. Um, but we have Interview with the Vampire, number five. Number seven. And then we have Anne Rice's The Queen of the Damned, number 11. Number 10. Number nine. And issue number seven. Trying to complete those runs there strictly on the cheap. Uh, let's we'll see how I do. Then we have Wildcats trilogy number one. This is a minor key, um, and who knows? You know, I think I think these this group here is part of the DC universe. So who knows? And then we have this here, one of my favorite TV shows. Man, if it, it was short lived. I think it was two seasons. The Outcast. Issue number one, first print, found that in a dollar bin, in a Mylar bag at that. I have like 30 copies of that. I speculated on it back in the day, and it didn't pan out too well. But it's, if you guys haven't read this story, it is an awesome story. Outcast by Robert Kirkman. Um, then we have Willington number one. I believe that's a variant cover in a Mylar bag. Just pick that up. Uh, Aliens vs. Predator Duel number two of two. And then I found a few issues of Die. There's issue number three, issue number four, and issue number two. Various prints. Always pick those up when I can find them in the dollar bin for sure. Then we have Team Youngblood number 20. Uh, needed that for my run, and I believe I've, I completed that run too, so pretty awesome. Ubar. Um, this is a, a great wartime story about how the Nazis created a super soldier. And they wanted to create a whole army, so this is based on that. Pretty good. It's a pretty good read. And then I found a few of these. Um, we only find them when they're dead. Issue number one and issue number two, both in Mylar bags. Man, I, I love finding comics at the flea market in a Mylar bag. It's awesome. And then I found this one, the gun, number one. I always pick up these little uh, variants or first issues of these minor of uh, independent books, guys, when I can find them. Now for a little small stack of DC, we have DC at, uh, Superman and Action Comics number 689, Minor Key. And then I found this. I needed this for my run. Justice League America Annual number 1. Uh, pick these up whenever I can find them. The return, you know, this. I think this is the second or first appearance of Steel. Um... Yeah, there's different Superman that took the place of, of Clark Kent when he died. So I always pick those up. There's like a blue, green, this one. I always pick them up. 
Then I found this. Super excited to find this. Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 47 in a DC Universe for less than a dollar. Can't pass that up. Always, oh, I'm glad I, I started getting into that, um, picking those up. I found a bunch of the flea market on one haul. All right, now for the Marvel books. Like I said, no particular order, but here are some Avenger books that I had. Um, Avengers 350. <clears throat> then we have Avengers Prime, number three of five. The New Avengers, number... What number is this? Number one. Then we have Avengers double, uh, number 34. I believe that's like volume three or four. And then number 33, I believe from the same volume. And then we have Avengers Infinity Gauntlet, number one of four, with Thanos on the cover. Avengers Prime, number two of five. Dark Avengers, number 12. I picked this up because I have this comic, but I have it signed by uh, Stan Lee, and it's uh, CGC. So I picked that up just to have for a floppy for the boxes. Then we have Avengers, number 23. The New Avengers, number one. Or actually, New of yeah. Or 16, point now, sorry. And then we have the Earth's Mightiest Heroes, number 14. I believe that's a minor key. Then I picked this up strictly for the cover. New Avengers for, and the Transformers, number two of four, with Wolverine on the cover. The Mighty Avengers, number seven. Uh, Avengers, number five. Young Avengers, number 5 of 5, miniseries. Then I picked this up strictly for the cover. I already have this almost this full run. I think I'm missing like two issues. But Thunderbolts 130 with Deadpool on the cover. Then I found another copy of Hercules, number... What number is this? Miniseries 4 of 4 with the female Silver Surfer on the cover. And I think she... Well, I, I don't think. I know she's going to be part of the Marvel Universe now. Um, then we have the Ultimates, number 12, with Galactus, Ultimate Thor, issue number 2, with Loki, Astonishing Thor, number 5 of 5, uh, Thor, 3 of 3, it's a, a little mini-series, Guardians of the Galaxy, number 1, The Incredible Hulks, number 613, and then 621, and then Hulk, number 7, from a different volume. And then we have Thing, number 19. Always try to... Um, another run that I'm kind of working on, too, guys. So, always pick those up when I can find them. And then we have Fantastic Four, 263. I think this might be some kind of reprint. Or came with an action figure or something, but found that. Now, for all the X-related titles, we've got X-Factor, number 51... Number 96. Number 23 in a newsstand. Then we have Age of Apocalypse. Uh, issue number 2. I can't remember which volume that is, but I love these Age of Apocalypse uh, series. Just great runs. And always pick this up when I find it. Uh, Weapon X from the Age of Apocalypse series. Uh, issue number 1. Then I found a few Gambit books. Issue number 17. Issue number 16. And issue number six. I didn't realize until recently how many different series of uh, Gambit had. Then we have Dark X-Men, number three of three. Number two of three. And number one of three. Always pick these up when I find them. I might have three or four sets of the series here. Love that series. And then we have Infect... In, uh, infect... Infect... In, uh, infect... Infernus, Infer X Infernus. God, Jesus, I can't fucking talk today. Number four, variant cover with Ileana on the cover. <clears throat> so we have that. And then we have Marauders, number one, minor key. Then I always pick these up. X-Force, number 12, the dark X-Force, where they're all dressed in black and gray. Then X-Men Adventures, number nine. I needed that for my run. Young X-Men, number one, minor key. Pick that up. The Order, number nine. Needed that for my run. Dark Rain, the the Cabal one-shot with all of some badasses on the cover. I love that cover there. 
And then we have Submariner, number four of six with uh, Venom on the cover. That's a pretty badass cover, too. Mr. and Mrs. X, number nine. Marvelous X-Men, number one, Minor Key. Hellions, number 14, is a variant cover. I needed that. Uh, X-Men, annual number two, Minor Key. <clears throat> X-Force, number five. Uh, direct and newsstand and that's it guys for this haul here um, on April 8th uh, 2024 the day of the apocalypse hope you guys stay safe tell me what you think about this haul tell me what you think about the apocalypse if it's the end of the world or the start of the end of the world and uh, let me know what you think guys hope you enjoyed this haul it is the junkie and I'm out peace